Barry McKay returns for us after a four-month injury spell out of commission. And uh, welcome back, guys, to the Hearts Football Manager save. We need Barry McKay back. He was so influential. He was critical to our great first season. And we need him because season two has not been great. Season two has been anything but great. And we are struggling. We're struggling big time. We've just not been doing well. Uh, we did have a, a good patch where we won four games in a row, including qualification for the Europa League group stage, plus that big win over Celtic. That was phenomenal. But since then, it's been two back-to-back -back draws in the league at Tynecastle against Aberdeen and Dundee. And then we lost away in Serbia against Red Star Belgrade. Massive games today. We're taking on Inverness Cali Fissel. We're taking on Astana in the Europa League, and we're taking on Mullerwell. We need to bounce back with wins. Inverness newly promoted. They're sitting 12th in the table. Things aren't looking too good for them. They've yet to pick a single point up so far this season. Let's make sure that doesn't change here today. Let's get into the game. I am going to change up the formation a wee bit. We're going to try a 4-3-3. Why? Because I want to. We're playing against the weakest team in the league. I just want to try something different, because at the moment, I just don't really feel like what we're doing is helping us, honestly. Um, yeah, we're not been playing well at the moment, so we're going to change something up, and we'll see how we get on. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then we can always refer back to it. Uh, Barry McKay, like I say, is, is ready to play, but we're not going to be starting him just due to the fact that I don't think he's ready. He hasn't played a game in about four months. His fitness is pretty low. Uh, Devlin could also come back, but we're going to wait for the next game probably for him. Lorente... A couple more days, he should be ready to return them. Still, obviously, we've got Balogun, who is still injured. Jamie Brandon wants a bit more game time, which uh, we'll, we'll try and get him game time. We could potentially play him today over Michael Smith, since we're doing a new formation. Brandon might be more suited to this formation. Yeah, you know what? We're going to give Jamie Brandon a, a game here. I mean, he wants a bit of game time, so you know what? We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll give Brandon some game time. I think that's going to be it then. That's going to be a team. There we go with Gordon, Kingsley, Mercer, or Brandon, Ball, Devlin, Benny, Woodburn, Chapman, and Boyce. Let's go and get stuck in to this. <laughs> I was going to call them a... Uh, nah, was, let's, go, let's go and play in Vanessa Cali Fest. So a great team. Brilliant wee team. So Brandon and Cameron, Cameron Devlin coming in. Smith and Halkett going out. That's the two changes that we're making from the last game. And... Um, Maybe it's not personnel changes, but we need big performance changes because the last game certainly was not good enough. But here we go. Him for nice Cali Fissel. Is there any noticeable names in there? Uh, Mark Ridgers. I know him. Wallace Duffy. Robbie Dees. And apart from that, man, that is not Gavin Riley. And that is Anthony McDonald, former Hearts man. Um, that's not a good uh, team. I, I, I don't see how Inverness Cali stay up, man. Looking at this team on paper, it looks pretty horrendous. That's not a team I think will survive in the uh, in the Scottish Premiership this season. And I hope we can make their job of surviving a lot tougher. We had a big win today. Not to be mean, not to be cruel, but we need the points more than they do, guys. We're struggling here. We're struggling big time. A win today will potentially keep us... In the top six. So a draw would also move us into the top six, but we ain't about that life. We ain't about a draw. We, we want the win. I mean, look at these colour kit. Who the fuck decided to play in the... You can't even see who's who. You can't even see who's who. McGregor just hits the bar. <laughs> Inverness almost taking the lead there, but... I mean, those... those the, the kits, man, it's colour confusion, man. It's, it's They're both played in blue. How could this have been allowed to happen? And it's not like one's like a really dark blue, no one's light blue. It's a fucking ident pretty much identical. Just looks like 20 blue shots running the boot. Whoever agreed, whoever agreed for that to go ahead, man. Absolutely shocking. But uh, speaking of shocking, our performances so far in this match hasn't been good. We'll try and encourage the team a wee bit, but honest to God, I think we may be referring back to our, <laughs> our usual formation. Although we do seem to be getting into the game a bit more, creating a bit more chances. Uh, we picked up two bookings, which isn't good, Benny and Brandon. We're into the referee's notepad. Brandon just gives that one away, but Devlin wins it. It's Chapman. Chapman finds Benny. Benny out towards Stephen Kingsley on the left-hand side. This is looking good. This is looking better. It's Kingsley. Kingsley into Woodburn. Back to Kingsley. Whips it in. Chapman's there. Boyce is there. And Boyce scores his first goal. 
of the season. But it won't count. It will not count. Boys, apparently in an offside position. I thought he looked offside, but Linesman took a hell of a long time to put his flag up. So I thought we got away with it, but uh, I thought wrong. We didn't get away with shit. Half an hour gone. Still Inverness, Cali Thistle nil. Hearts nil in this cinch premiership game here that uh, we kind of have to win. If we've got any hopes of... I say any hopes. I'm not quite sure at this stage of what our hopes are this season, but... Oh, that's a bad challenge. Allardyce could be gone there. He's from behind. And it's a straight red. Scott Allardyce. And you just can't do that. He took out Liam Boys from behind. And he, he, he picks up a red card in a game where his team were playing well. So that will be a massive blow for Inverness Cali Thistle. He did not need to do that. And he, he's winning fucked up right there. So we'll see how it happens. Can we get a goal for half time? It would be great if we can. Doesn't look like we're going to get it though. A minute add it on. Unfortunately not. So we're going to the break 0-0. But we do have a man advantage now. We have picked up since about the 20th minute. I feel like we're taking over. Uh, let's see here. I expect a win, guys. Come on, do not let these fans down. Do not let the travel and support down. We've got we're against ten men for God's sake. Bottom of the league, ten men. If we can't win, then what the hell are we doing here? Suter plays it to Brandon. Brandon wanted game time. He's got game time. Can he show me why he should be getting more game time though? Brandon back with the ball into Cami Devlin. Devlin to ball ball. Spent it in the middle to Benny Boyce. It's Benny out to Kingsley. Woodburn's making a run, Benny, boys, Woodburn's there, Woodburn, that's great play, for Chapman, to, oh, what a goal, pick it out, goalkeeper, Mark Ridgers, no chance, Chapman passes it into the path, a Woodburn, and he just curls it, finesses it right into the top right hand corner, man, that was a great goal, that was a beautiful goal, and uh, that's what we've been missing so far this season, we haven't really been right up to our best, but that was hearts at our best, man, the attack there was tremendous, passing it, was sublime, and uh, yeah, to bang that ball in the back of the net, what a curl finesse that was, man, absolutely lovely finish, lovely strike, and we have a 1-0 lead, almost doubled, though, Chapman's head up past the post, thought we were going to go 2-0 up there, but it wasn't to be, and we may look at making a couple of changes here, some players are pretty knackered, We've also got a couple of players on yellow cards as well, we'll wait. I guess we'll see how this attack goes first, can Inverness Cali Thistle offer anything? It's Walsh. These is intercepted by Kingsley. So let's look then. Who should Jimmy Brandon currently apprehensive? I mean, we give him game time and he's he's not really doing much with it. Could maybe play Suter. Who's at right back? Do we play Suter at right back in? Yeah, you know what? I think I'll play Suter at right back. We're going to bring on Craig Halkett. Because why not? Uh, who else are we going to bring on? Benny. We'll take him off because he's on a yellow. Oh, wait, we won't. He's off. He's just picked. Well, what's the chances of that? I mean, we're just about to take Benny off and he gets a red card. And that is that is just not necessary. That was so unnecessary, man. Oh, why would he do that? Seriously, guys, why the fuck would he do that? Ah. <laughs> uh... Did we pack the midfield or what? I don't know. Or did we just leave it like this? I can't believe Benny's done that. Right, you know what? We're going to bring on Barry Mackay. Because I want to see Barry Mackay make his return. We're going to bring on Barry Mackay. And is that going to do it? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that for now. But uh, yeah, what an absolute bummer that is. Benny getting sent off. And he just didn't need to. Not only... Does he put this match in a bit of danger for us now? But he also misses the next match, which could be really important against Mollerwell in the league. So, very disappointed in him there. Chapman, though. Oh, fuck that ball. That was found. Woodburn. Woodburn looking for his brace. But uh, it was a good save by Richards. But we're playing really well here. It's just a shame that we're down to 10 men. Because I'd have said with 10... Oh, my God. Jimmy Brandon. And we're just getting ready to take... No you know, way. No, no. Come on. And what the fuck is this? This is a screw job. I'd literally just... Oh, my God. I don't believe that. I literally... I was on the sub page. I was ready to sub off both players that had yellow cards. And all of a sudden... How? Like, what the fuck, man? How does that even happen? Like, how does that even happen? 
<laughs> what the hell did what what do we actually what do we actually what the fuck did we do now? Oh man. Right. I don't even think we can bring Barry Mackay on unless we just let him like free roam. I don't know, honestly. I'm fucking disgusted here. Uh mate, can you fit in the middle there, please? Right. Oh my fucking god. Chapman, you can come off for this way you know who you're gonna come off for. You know what? We're not even going to play with a striker. We'll just play with you there. Barry Mackay, I'll let you play the attacking midfield role, I guess. Can you play a Trieste? A trick Wistista? Whether you know what I mean? It fucking sounds like he should be working in a, a coffee shop, but you know what? A, bar a barista. But uh, we'll stick Barry Mackay there. And we will take... Oh, do we bring on Ryan? It's a big game for Ryan Thompson. I don't know if he's really the man that I mean, hold on, get Cameron Devlin in the midfield. I mean, we should be alright, hold on, Cameron Devlin, Ben Woodburn. No, but Dominic Ball, you should not be box to box. Let's swap these two a bit. Swap Cameron Devlin and Woodburn a bit, that's more like it. Ball, you can be on a ball winning midfielder, I guess, on defend. Woodburn can be advanced playmaker. Actually, no, Roman playmaker, because we just don't want to go that attacking. And uh, Benny can, I mean, not Benny, Cameron Devlin, you can just play as a a box-to-box -box midfielder. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe central midfielder on defend, because we're trying to see it this game. The wing-backs, oh my god, just defend. Kingsley, just defend. And Chapman can come off for Craig Halkett. And uh, yeah, it sucks that we have to do this, guys. But honestly, we've been put in a bad situation here. So here we go. Uh, we're going to go cautious. And we're just going to try and... Actually, no, we're going to go defensive. We're just going to try and see this game out with 29 minutes to go. There's still a long time left in this, man. Like, I cannot believe... I'm literally seconds away from substituting both guys on yellow cards. And, and that happens. And there's Jamie Brandon wanting game time, and it could be my mistake, guys. It could be me feeling sorry for him that could be costing us three points. Should have just played. I should have just played Michael Smith, but no. I want it to be nice, and what's that got me? Absolutely nothing. Kingsley's having a good game. We're going to leave him on. It's Cameron Devlin's time to come off. Right, we're going to bring off Devlin, and we're going to bring on Ryan Thompson. So here we go, Ryan Thompson with an opportunity here to... Uh, Put in a good performance, impress me as we try and hold on. I'm just glad it's it's nine men against ten, because I think nine eleven would literally be nine eleven for us. Nine eleven would be worse than the twin towers. I think our defense would probably cave in; it would collapse. But uh, we've still got a chance here. We're, there's only a one man disadvantage, and we're pr playing pretty well. So it looks like we could potentially hold on. We're, we're sitting in. We're being defensive. We're just going to go to very defensive now, but this is not what we wanted. Opportunity in for this Cali Fissel Harper. Throws at his sakes. Walsh, Suter, good interception, brilliant. Ball's cleared up, but there's just nobody there, unfortunately. Oh, it's not good. Kingsley, though, brings it down. Kings, why is he going back? Oh, my Christ! No way. No fucking way. I don't believe that. Guys, what the hell is happening here? Kingsley needlessly plays it back to Craig Gordon. Craig Gordon launches it up. It hits off someone's head. It bounces back to Gavin Riley. And Inverness, Cali Fissel equalise and look like they're about to pick up at least their first point of the season, maybe more. Four minutes to go. We're not, I don't even think we're going to try and get a goal. I think we're just going to tuck our tails between our legs and come away with a point. And we do come away with a point, but that was absolutely horrendous. I am disgusted with that man. I, I, I blame. I don't blame Kingsley. I don't blame Gore. I blame the two pricks that got sent off. I'm gonna sympathise with the team. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. wait, 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 wait. Where the fuck? I need individual. How do you do the individuals? Here we go, Benny. And where's that other prick? Where is he, Jamie Brandon? You bastards. You absolute fucking bastards. And they seem motivated. Well, being motivated is not good enough. Uh, there's going to be a big fine coming their way. 
Uh, does is that evident aggression worry you? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pissed off. I was just a bit. Your unbeaten run continues. Well, I mean, would you would you celebrate going at ninety minutes unbeaten against the finish Cali Fizzle? Probably not. Ben Woodburn's goal was great. It's a shame. Deserved to be the winner. But unfortunately, because his teammates are wankers, it wasn't a winner. Uh, Benny, banned for one match. Brandon, banned for one match. Sorry. Uh, why is it not letting me? I want to find their wages. But apparently I'm not allowed. So, I don't know why. But yeah, I, I want it to... I want it a big massive fine. Seems that I'm not even given the. It <laughs> seems that like I didn't give the option. Someone else is doing it. All right, okay, interesting. Uh, and look at that, Rangers through against St. Johnson. So I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie here and sit and say that I still think we can win the league or anything like that. But it's a, ch it was a chance. It was a chance to claw two points back on Rangers, and we just haven't done it. So that's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. And uh, now we we go into this. Europa League game with pretty much zero, absolute zero momentum, and yeah, I'm not positive guys, I reckon we could easily get beat against uh, Astana, positive is it's a home game, uh, that should help us, but Thompson breaks youngest ever player record, holy fuck! The guy I just brought on there against Inverness, Cali Fissel, was 15. I did not know that. What the fuck is he doing in the team, man? <laughs> Youngster. I cannot believe I had a 15-year-old. That, that is mental. That is absolute mental. We had a 15-year-old. I didn't even know that, man. Hold on. Why is he in the, why is he in the bloody the main team? Hearts under 18. So why was he available for selection? That's a strange one. I don't get it. But anyway, you know, some, hopefully some of our other players are doing good. Aaron Darge on loan. Mackenzie Kirk on loan. I think Darge is going to be a good player. I am looking forward to eventually getting him back. Um, He's on loan at Morton for the year. I, I think when we get him back, I think next year he will be ready to play a part in a heart squad. I don't think he's going to be starting any games like, but you know, I, I definitely think that he could be Available for staff, and yeah, I know what. Just requested somebody to my inbox. Uh, disappointed, you guys. Absolutely frustrated with that draw. But we move on. Up next, Europa League Hearts versus Astana. More bad news, guys. It just gets worse. When it fucking rains, it pours here at Hearts. Craig Sutter. Oh, fuck, who's, who's Craig Sutter? Uh, John Sutter. Yes, John Sutter. That's the one. I wish Craig Sutter was injured because he wouldn't matter because he doesn't fucking exist. But yeah, Craig Sutter. John Sutter is uh, injured. Um, and we may have a selection dilemma. He's going to be out for about three weeks, I think. Ankle, ligaments, not good. Uh, so yeah, that joins Balligan on the sidelines. I'm glad we actually brought in a few centre-backs this season. We brought in Balligan, we kept Taylor Moore, we brought him back on in loan. Because, uh, yeah, these injuries seem to be piling up. Not ideal for our next uh, match. I must win against Astana. But I'm hoping that we can change things around and come away with a win. We need to. We absolutely need to. So here we go. Let's move into the Premier Sports Cup semi-final draw. Before we get to uh, the Europa League, it's all about this draw. Rangers now, I think... Last time, oh wait, so wait, we're still, the, fuck, we're still, I forgot we got Celtic in the quarters, right. So it's going to be, it's going to be Rangers or Dundee versus Kilmarnock, and then it's going to be obviously Hibernian versus ourselves or Celtic, so big game here. If we can beat Celtic in the quarterfinals, we set up a big Edinburgh Derby semi-final. I'll be definitely looking to get the better of Hibs in that one, but here we go, speaking of getting the better of teams, can we get the better of Astana here today? They did get a better result than us in the in the first game, albeit they lost as well. Looks like Fernando Lorente is going to be capable of playing. I'm probably not going to start him from the beginning, guys, because I don't think that would be ideal. I'm going to go back to this formation here with the feet at the back. Uh, Suter, unfortunately, he's coming out. Craig Halkett's coming in. Ball, I don't think, is going to be playing there. 
we could potentially... Who do we play then? Who the hell do we play? Brandon, you're coming out for Michael Smith. Uh, these injuries, man, they're piling up. They're fucking piling up big time. Devlin could... I don't think Devlin should be playing either. We could play Kingsley at centre-back. We could play Kingsley... Oh, God, I don't even know here. Hold on a second. We could play Moore's ball playing. Uh, right. I think we may play Kingsley here. And then we're going to have to play young uh, Leo Watson out on the left. That seems to be the best way I can combat this. Uh, Michael Smith will get you on attack. We'll get you going forward. And Barry McKay still have his fitness issues. He'll probably not stay. Start, but Lorente I think will start because Liam Boyce just hasn't really been up to scratch lately. So Lorente is going to start. Chapman's been playing no bad, as is Ben Woodburn. I think we'll stick with that. Uh, yeah, this is what we're going to go with, guys. What if we swap Benny and Devlin about? I bet it puts Benny in a four stars and it puts Cameron Devlin on a three. I think I prefer that. I think I prefer Cameron Devlin getting forward more, to be fair. I prefer him as a box-to-box, -box, and I prefer Benny as the ball-winning midfielder. So that's what we're going to go with, guys. That's going to be the team. Gordon Moore, Halkett, Kingsley, Smith, Watson, Benny, Devlin, Chapman, Woodburn, and Lorente. Let's get into this shower of shite, Astana. And we pretty much need to win this. A, a draw will not be good enough, I feel. Astana, the, the weakest team that we're going to play in this group stage. So if we are going to get through, we're going to have to pick up wins, and it's going to have to be against them. That's how I feel, so... Let's go win this, and if we win this, we put us, we give ourselves a chance. We win this, we give ourselves a chance. I think if we lose this, it's fair to say that the group's over. Were well, you looking for improvement? Aye, a little bit more from everybody. The first goal is crucial. You're damn right, it's crucial. Do you hope your team can produce more today? Yes. I mean, I want to prefer. <laughs> I want to produce in every game, not just this game. I want to produce in every single game. So hopefully that is no different. And today we can go out and we can get the score line that we require. Some other games on. Look at that. Chelsea are current, we're playing in the same competition as Chelsea, Lazio. Some of the big boys of European football. It's great here to be in this. Only question is, how much longer will we be in it? Uh, you feel like back-to-back -back losses in the group stage ain't really the best start if you want to get out of this. You know, you feel like you probably need to go off to a better start than that. But uh, we will see for now. Things are pretty quiet. It's a draw. The uh, Senate and Red Star Belgrade are drawn in the other game. So, at the moment, it's 4-4. Uh, four, four and 1-1 one, one in terms of points. So, we'll see what's happening. We're playing the better football here at the moment. Five shots to one. I believe... Does Ford, does Ford in the Europa League drop into the Europa League conference? I need someone to confirm that for me. I don't know. I think it might. I'm not too sure, guys. Or, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe, maybe it doesn't. I don't know what it does. But it's Lorente. He's gonna. Oh, he's. That's a poor shot. I don't even think it was going in. It doesn't even. It didn't even look on target to me. The keeper pulled off a decent save, but overall, I don't think that shot was good enough. Here go ball back to Smith whipped in Lorente and it's it's it's, it's Lorente. every time a ball lands in his head you feel like it's going into the back of the net. So honestly, absolutely delighted with that. And look at that, eleven shots to one. We've, we've turned up here today. We're really grabbing this game by the scruff of the neck. Astana ain't really been able to live with us. But my, my only problem is it's a, it's a one-goal lead. <laughs> Obviously, goals can change things. We've seen in the last game, sending-offs can change things. We're doing we're doing really well, but I would just like a slight improvement. Another goal should be enough to secure the win for us. But obviously, if they get it, then it could go either way. Slow start to the second half. It's a corner though, Kingsley. 
Whips it in, it's Lorente again, and Fernando Lorente. What are we going to do when he leaves at the end of the season? How do you replace these goals? Everything the guy touches with his head goes in the back of the net, man. Unbelievable. Guy is unreal at head. Not that I would know, but... I mean, just look at his performances here, he has to be, come on. His fucking head's a weapon. A dangerous weapon. 16 shots then, 2 for Astana. We're in complete control here. Uh, Lorente with both goals, both wing-backs with an assist each. This is the kind of performance we needed to bounce back in this group, and it's the kind of performance that uh, will give us confidence for the rest of the season. It's Moore's turn this time to score a header. I think it's going to be offside. I think we're going to check VAR here. Moore's not celebrating. Oh, and he gets the goal. So there you go. He was, he was wrong not to celebrate. And that's three headed goals here, so let's go ahead and make some changes. Let's uh we're gonna bring on Barry Mackay. We're gonna bring on Barry Mackay. We'll take off Woodburn. I think Barry Mackay wanted to play on the left more anyway, so we'll play him there. Uh Lorente. I want to keep him on because he's doing well. I want him to try and maybe get his goal. Let's see. Michael Devlin's been injured. We'll we'll bring him on for Halkett. We'll bring him back for a bit. And who knows? Who else can we bring on? Maybe Josh Ginelli. We'll bring on Josh Ginelli for Chapman. Ah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll see how that goes. And then that's, that should do it, guys. That'll be the three subs that we make uh, with 21 minutes to go and expect us then to, to get to the end with, without any hiccups, really. It's been a comfortable game, comfortable day at the office. We're still, still a draw in Red Star Senate. I, I don't know if that's a good thing for us or a bad thing for us. It means that... We, we close the gap to both teams, just down to one, but you feel like maybe we should be focused on, on one rather than trying to get points off both of them. Barry McKay now, nice turn, nice twist, and he's, he's played a good ball. There's Ginelli. Josh Ginelli in towards Florenti. Florenti's header almost gets the hat trick, but that one just wide. He actually missed for a change. I don't believe it. Florenti will be kicking himself. West Ham are 1-0 up against Rangers, though. West Ham... In the battle of Britain, England are leading Scotland. Rangers letting the country down there in that game. Not long to go. Can Rangers find a way back into it? Pavlin with a goal in the 88th minute gives Rangers practically no time to get up an equaliser, to get a result. But it looks like we're going to get a result here, guys. A couple of minutes away from picking up a very impressive 3-0 win. And it's a win that we needed. And that could be a card... It's a yellow card, I believe. It's going to be Stephen Kingsley. He whips one over, and it's, oh, I think it's hit the top of the crossbar. Will be a goal kick for Astana. But is there going to be any time to take it? Surely not. And there's not. Referee blows for the full-time whistle. And at time castle, we've come out convincing one else. It's hearts free. Astana nil in the Europa League. Nice work, everyone. That was a great win. Everyone looks inspired and motivated, apart from the players that didn't get on. But you know what? Not everybody can get on. Are you happy to win? No, you're damn right I'm happy to win. I'm hardly going to be sitting here sad, am I? What kind of question was that? And uh, yeah, you can see then we go within a point of the top two teams, Red Star and Senate. Brilliant way to bounce back after a disappointing opening round defeat. And with free, whoa, whoa, look at that. Hearts have to receive 530k for the win against Astana in Europa Cup. So, like, that's what I'm saying. Just being in Europe, man, can financially save teams like us, you know. So, this will be, for going forward, man, just the money that we're going to generate, the money that we're going to receive for being in this competition is is phenomenal. And the, the more wins we can get, the more money we get, It's we need to take advantage of this. Stevie Clark was at Tyne Castle. Apparently keeping an eye on Stephen Kingsley and Craig Halkett. Interesting. Do they deserve Scotland Cops? Potentially, man. Although Stephen Kingsley at left back, it's just it's hard to see, honestly. I think he's kind of been screwed here. It's just hard to see how he gets into the team. You know, when you've got you've got the likes of Tierney and Robertson and then you've got young players like uh, Aaron Hickey coming through. It's like, does Kingsley get anywhere near that left back wing position, that left back position? Who knows? Who knows? Steve Clark keeping an eye on him, obviously, so he thinks that there's a potential there. Forrest prefers Lorente over Mbappe. Yeah, me too. I definitely would say Lorente's a better header of the ball than Mbappe, 100%. I would agree with that 100%. 
And that's going to do it then, guys, for this episode. We'll leave the match against Mullerwell for the next time. I want to bow out in a high for a change rather than always ending it depressed with a disappointing result. So, good win there against Astana. We'll be back next time where we take on Mullerwell and then we have a home game, another match at Tynecastle in the Europa League against Senate St. Petersburg. If we can win that one, then we really do have a great chance of going through out of this group. But tune in to see it, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video. And until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.